so just getting right into it, this is my iPad. I try to keep it looking as organized as possible by grouping all of my apps into different sections. So this is my medical section. I carry the Netters Atlas with me. It's actually a really big book, but I downloaded the app so I can keep all of this information in one place. It's really useful for medical students and even medical graduates like me to help study for exams. The next area I have is for study tools, things I use to study, an entertainment section to watch videos and movies, and then a drawing section where I have Procreate and things like that to do all my free time. So back to the study tool section, I use this app called Forest. It helps me study and stay productive. I usually actually use it on my phone, but I'm just showing you here as an example where you can earn coins the more you study and use that to actually plant trees in the real world. An app I used a lot in medical school was Microsoft OneNote. I would divide the subjects into its smaller topics and then make charts on each one of those smaller topics. I would put all of the diseases on one column and then all of the subsequent information that I got from my textbook into the other columns and then I would make that for every single subtopic. After making those columns, I would then reread them and go over them so I could see the differences and the similarities all in one place. The main apps that I use for studying now are these three at the bottom, Anki, UWorld, and GoodNotes. So opening up GoodNotes, I import all of my textbooks onto GoodNotes so that I can highlight and annotate them while I'm studying. An example of one of the textbooks I used was First Aid. As I went through the entire book, I would flag any page that I thought was important or had a difficulty understanding and wanted to go over. When I had problems with a specific topic or a specific subject, I would go on YouTube or Google or Wikipedia and search that specific topic and watch the video or read the section and then annotate, make, editate the book and make my own notes in my own words so that I can really understand that topic and so that I can use that information to correlate it to my other subjects and to have an overall understanding of that particular section. I'm a visual learner, so sometimes there were sections in the book that I just didn't understand without having to look at a photo to help me really grasp the subject. So in that case, I would go on Google and type up that specific topic that I was having trouble on and looked for photos that could give me more of a vid visual representation of what they were talking about. From there, I would then drag and drop that photo into my textbook so I could have reference of, of the actual photo right then and there and annotate it and make additional notes so that I didn't have to have a separate notebook for these notes and all of my extra information would actually be consolidated in one place. The app that definitely helped me retain all of this information was Anki. Anki focuses on spaced repetition, so after I would study a specific topic, I would go over the related cards and study those cards every day. And so I would do this every single day so that I wouldn't forget what I went over the week or the month before and I can continuously learn new things while going over the things that I'd already studied previously. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching!